Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit, at the time they view this video? Okay, we have a few. Let's see. We start off with the Ace of Cups. So an answered prayer, a divine blessing, maybe a new relationship, a new emotional beginning or something is coming towards you here, Pisces. Then we have the King of Wands. It may be from... A masculine, independent of gender, fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Or it could be a new opportunity that has to do with something you're very passionate about. Um, we do have the Five of Swords that shows the resistant energy, somebody trying to win at all cost. Um, let's just continue and see what's going on here. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the Devil. So this is... The devil can be financial matters, material aspects, commitment as like ball and chain, long-term commitments, or it can be something unhealthy that is chaining you. We do, or chaining somebody. With the five of swords energy and the devil energy, we do have, um, that could be interpreted as a negative type of energy or um, somebody might, oh, <laughs> I'm getting somebody might very well be obsessed with you, Pisces, and can't get you off their head, and it's causing them a lot of internal resistance or internal um, conflict. What other messages do we have for Pisces, please, Spirit? They can get you out of their head. That's a song. Mm -hmm. well, I won't try to sing. Sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Your love is all I can think about. I can't get you out of my head. That's what it says, I think. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? Any other messages for Pisces? Thank you. Then we have the Two of Swords, and it's making them feel really stuck, unable to know really what to do or how to... <laughs> I mean, like, they don't even know what to do with themselves. Like, it's not what they're used to. What other messages do you have for Pisces for this reading? Any other messages for Pisces for this reading? I feel like there might be one or two more cards, Spirit. What else do you want Pisces to know? Thank you. And we have the sun. So the sun is coming out to basically bring light to a situation that might be stuck. The sun card is also Leo energy. And we do have the king of wands here. So some of you, you might have a Leo around you or somebody with Leo in their chart. Um, let's go ahead and dive in and get clarification as to what the heck could be going on here. Spirit, please come near and show Pisces what you want them to know about this message. What is this Ace of Cups, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Cups? And let me scooch this over so you guys can actually see all the cards, hopefully. Well, that's better, I guess. And what do we need Pisces to know about this Ace of Cups, please, Spirit? What is this Ace of Cups, please? And we have the King of Swords. I'm going to put that back because when I was doing that, Spirit told me to get a different deck. So um, what do we need to know about this Ace of, Ace of Cups, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Cups, please? Thank you. Yeah, this deck, the energy is much better. And we have the Two of Swords again. And then, well, see, yeah, this is the right deck for clarification. Um, just got to listen to what we're being told here. So we're definitely seeing that somebody's stuck regarding coming forward with some type of offer um, or emotion towards you. There's definitely um, something caught up in their energy. Let me get another deck here and clarify these again. Let me see what deck here. Spirit, what is this Two of Swords? What do you want Pisces to know about this Two of Swords, please? What's going on in this Two of Swords? Hold on. And we have the world. So they're kind of feeling like they would like a new cycle um, in their life, actually. In their life is what I'm seeing. And they see that they would like to extend some type of um, offer opportunity or make some gesture towards you um, because they really feel as though this might seem like you fit into their life. What is this Ace of Cups for Pisces, please? 
What is this Ace of Cups for Pisces, please? Yeah, so they've definitely had an ending. They've had some trauma. They they might also see that you've had some trauma. Um, they don't know how to move forward from a cycle that they've gone through, but they're definitely ready or feeling as though they're about to be ready for a new beginning, a new emotional beginning, just new emotional experiences all the way around. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this King of Wands? What is this King of Wands for? Thank you. And we have the devil. So that is Capricorn energy. This person may literally want to commit. They may have gone through one ending in a relationship or commitment. And that cycle, they've been stuck until that cycles. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. So they have been stuck until that cycle or the, the other situation ended. And now they're be, being able to be unencumbered and to move forward. What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Wands, please? Thank you. Wow, lots. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, they're definitely... This is exactly what it is, Pisces. They they have been going through something that they needed to end. And now they're definitely want, wanting to move forward um, and possibly even settle down, but definitely have peace. Um, they're thinking about what is on their mind. The King of Wands is also somebody who's committed. Um, and they may have been committed elsewhere, but that is being cleansed and purged, as we see with the Ten of Swords, and being able to move forward from a cycle. So here they're definitely thinking... You know, what do they want now? They definitely want to move towards positive change. They do want to be in a committed relationship and move forward. That's something that can, in fact, move forward to settling down or, or give them significant peace in their life. What is this Five of Swords? Please, Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Five of Swords? What is this Five of Swords, please, Spirit? What is this Five of Swords, please, Spirit? Thank you. And we have the four of pentacles. So they're not letting go of some type of resistance that's within them. Um, and it's causing them to continue to be stuck. Even though the cycle um, that they have gone through is over, they're basically being stuck in their own energy of defensiveness, trying to win at any cost because of the cost that they gave in the past. We see the ten of swords here and they gave everything and lost it all. Um, from this person's point of view, they it was devastating what they have gone through that cycle that they're ending and closing out or that's now behind them. They would definitely like to move forward, but they may not be seeing that they're still hanging on to that energy um, because they're trying to literally guard their heart. What else do we need to know about this five of swords? What else do we need to know about this five of swords, please, spirit? This person's literally doing the best they can, but they're still in this energy and they need they need to understand that they need to, to die to that um, defense mechanism and release and let go in order to transform this energy within them. Let's get clarification. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Four of Pentacles? What do you want Pisces to know about this Four of Pentacles, please? And we have the Five of Wands. So arguments, conflict, strife. This is, again energy that we see them holding on to that's really causing disruption for them they're needing to have the strength and the courage to overcome this I, I think this person views you as very gentle where they're guarding themselves because they've been in a lot of chaos but they view you as gentle and that you could help them <clears throat> pardon me guys you could help them move forward and put down the burden but um that's not for you to do that's for them to have the courage to move out of this chaotic energy of strife and put down the burden but they need to let go which we're seeing again is you know they need to let go of the cycle that's over they need to recognize that it's over and let it be what is this death card i i feel like this person is um kind of at the point where they've understood they've gone through understanding that the cycle's over but now they need to accept that um Hanging on to that energy is not serving them, and it's time for this transformation. What is this death card for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this death card? Also, Scorpio energy. What is this death card, please, for Pisces? What is this death card for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this death card, please, Spirit? It is not telling us. What is this death card, please, Spirit? Please, Spirit, please come near. What is this death card? Show us what we need to thank you. Got to be like, hey guys, come here, pay attention, come here. <laughs> okay, for real. So they weren't, it was on a reason that they weren't giving us more information because it is what it is. Point blank, it is what it is. Get over it. Something in your life, dead, home, 
died home slice time to move forward. And I don't mean home slice in a, in a negative, um, inappropriate way. It's just, a, it's just a joke for levity, but here I literally get over at home slice. It's time to move forward. Um, and then we have the magician time to create new time to use your skills and manifest Ooh, new love baby yeah so this person is definitely stuck in the energy of strife and conflict and it's going to take them courage to realize that to accept they already realize we see that they already realize and they want to move forward but they need to, it's time for them to accept that it's over and that it's nothing there's there's nothing they can do about it it's 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 um like the sands of time, the air, trying to grab onto air, you can't, it's time to only accept and to move forward, um, have a death and a rebirth in your life, and then to manifest a new romantic offer proposal. But again, the person is in the state of needing to overcome their inner resistance. Um, that's fear-based, it's, it's protectionary, it's, it's a, defense mechanism as a result of the trauma they have gone through and this might be you as well Pisces so please take it as it resonates let's see what this devil card is what do we need to know about this devil card please what is this devil card please spirit okay and we have the king yep so they're definitely wanting to have a connection with you or come back and have something wanting to be generous with you again with that strength card we do see the energy of them feeling as though you are generous you are kind you are gentle you you are basically like this might sound weird ointment to their soul um and you it, you have the healing energy that will help them through but you can't do anything about what they're choosing what they're where they are in the healing process and here we definitely see that this person would like to have this connection with you and have some they they want to be around your energy they they're trying to figure out how to come towards your spirit says get clarification what is this king of cups please what do you want pisces to know about this king of cups what is this king of cups for pisces please spirit Thank you. And we have, okay, seriously. So we're, they're being very clear here. This is you, this is you. Um, so don't ask if it's you because it's you. What is the six of pentacles? What is the six, thank you, spirit. And then here for the six of pentacles, Pisces, we are getting the higher fan. So again, this is confirming they would like to come together, offer something to you, be generous to you. Maybe in the past, um, if you weren't in connection with this person or you just knew this person, not in like a committed relationship, maybe they didn't, their energy was a bit more harsh, a bit more aggressive, more selfish, because again, they were in that self-preservation energy. Sorry guys, I don't mean to be off camera here with the, let me scooch it a wee bit. All right. But here they're definitely thinking, you know, they have this communication, they have coming together on your, on their mind. And then, okay, so we have the devil card here three times now. So they're definitely thinking about having commitment with you, what that would be like. They're, they are scared. And this might, again, this might be flipped that you are scared. You're thinking about having commitment with somebody, but because of the past trauma that you're, you're coming out of, you're trying to get out of that energy that's really causing some chaos and conflict in you still perhaps. Um, it's, and it's making you a little bit unsteady or making them unsteady, right? put it how it fits, but here definitely wanting to offer some type of commitment and family. This is, this is, look at this guys. This is definitely wanting to offer, um, the marriage commitment and family. Like this is definitely, they have something very solid, um, and meaningful on their mind. I just heard you got me in the heart Pisces. Like you really got my heart. Like I feel as though this person isn't necessarily usually a person who is bothered by emotions or things don't really impact them or really sink into their emotional space, but you did. Like, make no mistake, Pisces, you did. So let's see what this, oh, what, this was the devil energy. Hold on, let me put this over the devil because we have the devil and the devil clarifying the devil, which again, so here, Pisces, it's very <clears throat> interesting in this reading, we're having very strong energies reinforcing. We have the Ace of Cups, clarifying the Ace of Cups. We have the Death card, clarifying the Death card. We have the King of Cups, clarifying the King of Cups. 
and the devil clarifying the devil. So let's see what this two of swords is. What is this? Oh, I stand corrected. This was, was this the six of pentacles? Yes, this was the six of pentacles. Now let me have this devil. What is this devil energy, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this devil energy? What is this devil energy, please, spirit? And we have the nine of wands. So they're a little bit worried about what commitment means that it might take from them. They're looking, hold on. What do we need to know about this devil energy, please? Thank you. So we have the sun, the queen of wands, and the eight of cups. So they're, they're definitely coming out of a place where they're having healing and cleansing from a connection with a counterpart, whether they were in a committed relationship or some type of um, partnership. We do see the queen of wands and the king of wands here. So we do see this, this person was coming out of some type of situation. Now, for those of you Pisces who this is not a person that was coming out of a relationship, they could have been coming out of a, a situation or job or something like that. Take it as it resonates. Or for you, you could have been leaving behind, you know, a job um, that was draining you because you saw the light, you had clarity that it was not going to work in this thing you knew you needed to forever leave behind because it had actually changed to become a toxic situation. What is this two of swords for Pisces? What is this two of swords, please? What is this two of swords for Pisces, please, spirit? And we have the sun card twice in this reading out as well. What is this two of swords for Pisces? What is this two of swords for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this two of swords? Thank you. And we have the four of cups. So they're stuck because they're not sure if they do make some type of offer that you'll take it. Maybe again, maybe in the past, um, they may have punked on you. They may have um, just been in such a fragmented state that um, you are now apprehensive or discontent and bored with whatever they might have. And they're, they're not sure how to overcome that. Um, what else do we need to know? Okay, and we have the Eight of Wands, but they're definitely trying to move forward. Let me get clarification. What is this Four of Cups for Pisces? What? Thank you. Hold on one second, guys. So we have the Wheel of Fortune again. So we have the Wheel of Fortune twice in this reading. The energy is very strong. This this person's definitely trying to manifest change in their life, as we see with the Magician and the Knight of Cups. They're trying to manifest new opportunities, new offers, new romantic proposals with you. Wow, holy crap, guys. Like, literally, we have the Two of Swords now. Is this the third time we have the two of swords in this reading? Yes, we have the two of swords here and two more times. So there's a lot of stuck energy in this situation. Um, messages and communication are in fact going to be coming through though. Um, they want something that's long-term, but they're really thinking about it over of how to come forward, how to communicate this properly, given the fact that part of my they might've fucked it up in the past or because of the energy, what they were allowing themselves to be in a, in a, position of lower character than what they like to hold themselves to they're really given new perspective well wow, on how to move forward because they do in fact want this new beginning and what is this eight of wands for pisces please what is this eight of wands for pisces yeah they want to work through things and have happiness this is also a new relationship or new opportunity they want to work and have clarity in this situation so now we have the sun i think three times in this reading what is the sun card please what do we need to know about the sun energy, please? What is this sun energy, please? I just heard they want to speak their truth. They want to have new goals and a new vision for the connection. They want to clear up any type of ex um, any type of misunderstandings. And here we have that very clarified even by the Page of Swords saying, yes, in fact, Pisces, they would like to speak their truth regarding what has happened, why they were so fragmented in the past. What do we need to know about the Seven of Cups, please? What is the Seven of Cups for Pisces? What is the Seven of Cups, please? What is the Seven of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is the Seven of Cups? Thank you. And we have the Nine of Wands. So yeah, they definitely want to speak their truth about, you know, what why they came off like they did, why they were so fragmented, because they were in pain. They were really wounded. Um, they were going through the fire. What is this Page of Swords, please? Thank you. Hold on one second. And for the Page of Swords, we have the Four of Wands. They want to speak the truth that they do want something stable, secure. They want to come together, work on things, and have something that's very abundant, very stable. Maybe a new relationship. Again, the Four of Wands. Um, this person may feel as you or this person may feel as though you're twin flames. That you really have a very unique connection. 
uh, Pisces, I, I think this person, or you view this person, take it again, how it resonates. But I, I really feel that this person thinks you are unique. Like you are it's just unique, they say. Okay, so let, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through this reading and pull out the cards that are repeating because I think there's a, a, a different message in the cards that are repeating. So I need to do that. So we have the, um, just bear with me for a, one moment, please, Pisces, while I do this because I think it's important here to give an underlying message. Do we have a two of swords here? No, we don't. We have the king of cups twice. We have the devil, the devil, the sun, the sun, the sun, the wheel of fortune, the two of swords. Thank you for your patience while I do this, but I think there's, I don't do this too often, but when I do, there's usually some reason. So what else do we have here? Anything else? Hopefully I'm not missing. What else? The sun, the sun, the nine of wands, the nine of wands, definitely the nine of wands energy. Four of swords, sun, five of, five of swords is no, no, no. Eight of wands, no, no, no. And I'm just putting those in a pile. These are not, this person definitely wants to move forward, wanting to have a new commitment they, they want emphatic change in their life they understand that a cycle of their life is now forever over let's see what we have here now pisces so this person definitely and it's interesting how this hold on um okay so this person definitely wants to come forward with a new offer of love or this is a new opportunity coming to you take it as it resonates but there's definitely some energy of a stalemate or being stuck, um, wanting to move forward to a commitment, but also um, I'm feeling treading lightly because of what may have occurred in the past. But either way, wanting to move forward, understanding one cycle is over and a new cycle is beginning. One cycle is dead, one situation, one um, what was in the past is now forever done and wanting to move forward to that rebirth to have new clarity, to speak the truth, have a cleansing of the past and move on to a new joy in the, your life with you Pisces, but also looking over, this person's looking over what has transpired. They understand that they're coming to, if they don't already understand the impacts of their behaviors and the impacts it's had on you because of their own woundedness. As a result of their own woundedness, Pisces, they have or may have wounded you. So let's get some overall messages for this reading, Spirit. Any overall messages for this reading for Pisces? Any overall messages for this reading for Pisces, please? And I just heard for some of you, this is work as well. So here we get the destiny card, the wheel of fortune again. So there is change in process. There is change that is definitely occurring. Any angel answers for Pisces? For Wow, wow, Pisces, forgiveness. And then any Rebel Deck cards for Pisces for this reading? Thank you. Stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just fucking stop. Spend your time on something worth it. Don't waste your time, waste it on ridiculousness. So as long as this person is behaving like a, a jackpot, um, that's not how I, I didn't mean jackpot like winning the lottery. I meant it as like a turd head. I, I don't know why it came out that way, but um, maybe I was trying to say, anyway, whatever. So what do we need to know about this destiny card? What do we need to, thank you. And here we have, yeah, so they understand that they want to offer you something, but they're not sure how to come forward. They do want to, they feel as though you're a, a very important part of their life. But again, we have the four of cups coming out here saying, you know, they're not sure if you're even going to be open to receiving anything from them. They do definitely want your forgiveness. What is this forgiveness? And for some of you, this could be a family member as well, or some somebody that's a non-romantic connection. What is this forgiveness card for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this forgiveness card? And we have, yep, so forgiveness because of the fact that they did cause pain, they did cause harm um, of some type. What else do we need to know about this forgiveness, please? Thank you. Hold on, a few cards came out. So we have here Pisces, how do you want, okay, like this. So we have here for the forgiveness, the three of swords, clearly. 
the nine of pentacles so some of you know you've been single pisces or they you know spirit says no that's wrong that's wrong um so they've what do you want okay so the nine of pentacles is referring to they understand that there is forgiveness needed and they're going to need to come to you and offer you something that helps you that is um very tangible and reliable because in the in the past they offered you air they offered you nothing um and here we have the six of wands they want to show you that they value you again we have the devil card commitment something material they had a lot of chaos around them let's see what else and then we have the page of cups and the wheel of fortune again fourth time in this reading they definitely want to have some type of message coming towards you um to address the fact that they fucked up or it caused some type of pain um in the past and that was very disruptive and you know for some of them they're literally embarrassed so what do we need to know about the stop texting stop stalking stop checking on that person um spirits calling out now if this person comes back and they're with a fuckery again or if they're behaving in a shady way just just stop like hard stop hard no hard stop however if it's if they're not if it's not ridiculousness then that's an indicator what do we need to know about this card please thank you yeah if they're going to continue to act in a stuck manner and just be depressive and cause problems that's definitely the indicator that you know thank you but the door is that way um so this is the message i have for you today pisces i know it's a lot of information but it does seem like a person or an opportunity is going to be coming your way um it's up to you to evaluate how it feels and if it's worth pursuing if you can find forgiveness to tr help transform and move the situation forward for some of you, that could be a viable option. For others of you, this person is going to come acting like a fool again, and you're just going to have to say deuces be. So this is the message I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.